Surge Control, Diaphragm Valve Inspection. Referring to the shop manual for each model, inspect the EVAP Purge Control Diaphragm Valve. Carry out the inspection under the condition in which engine coolant temperature is below 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Disconnect the vacuum hose of the EVAP purge valve from the EVAP canister. Connect a vacuum pump gauge to the hose. Start the engine and let it idle. Check that there is no vacuum. Raise the engine speed to 3000 RPM to warm up the engine. After the engine is warmed up, check that there is vacuum at 3000 RPM. Stop the engine. Place the vacuum hose of the EVAP purge valve in its original position. Remove the fuel tank cap. Disconnect the purge air hose from the EVAP canister. Instead, connect the vacuum pressure gauge to the EVAP canister. Start the engine and raise the engine speed to 3000 RPM. Check to see if the vacuum is generated within one minute. If the vacuum is not generated within one minute, replace the canister. EVAP two-way valve inspection. Referring to the shop manual for each model, Inspect the EVAP two-way valve. Remove the fuel tank cap. Disconnect two vapor lines from the EVAP two-way valve located above the canister. Using a T fitting, connect the vacuum pump gauge and vacuum pressure gauge to the vapor intake line of the fuel tank side. While monitoring the vacuum pressure gauge, pump the vacuum pump slowly and constantly. If the vacuum pressure momentarily stabilizes between 0.8 to 2.1 kPa when pumped, the two-way valve is normal. If the vacuum pressure stabilizes below 0.8 kPa or beyond 2.1 kPa, replace the two-way valve. Switch the vacuum pump gauge connection to the pressure side. Switch the valve pressure gauge hose to the positive pressure side. While monitoring the vacuum pressure gauge, pump the vacuum pump slowly and constantly. If the vacuum pressure momentarily stabilizes around 1.0 kPa, the two-way valve is normal. If the vacuum pressure does not increase up to 1.0 kPa, replace the two-way valve. 